A Quiet Place Day 1 just came out in theaters a couple of days ago, and this franchise keeps on proving to be able to make great films exploring different eras and cities being attacked by Daredevil cosplaying as the Demogorgon, also known in the Qu A Quiet Place world as Death Angels. With so much success, let's explore some other spin-off ideas for this franchise. Welcome to Big Flick Energy, and let's get right into three A Quiet Place spin-off ideas I would love to see be made. The first idea, a Quiet Place, The Val, will take place in Normandy, France, and follows the Trappist monks during the events of A Quiet Place Day 1. Trappist monks, a branch of the Cistercian Order, practice strict silence as a means of fostering contemplation and humility. Trappist monks do speak, though their use of speech is highly regulated. The vow of silence practiced by Trappists is not absolute. It is intended to cultivate a spirit of contemplation and minimize unnecessary conversation. While most monastic orders that emphasize silence still allow for necessary speech, there are individual monks who may take a personal vow of complete silence, though this is rare. These personal vows are not typically mandated by the monastic order itself, including this one, but are instead personal spiritual disciplines. Through this film, we'll follow a hermit who has made a permanent vow of silence in his life through his faith, and how he sees the world around him fade away as the aliens attack. The monks quickly realize how their vow of silence can save them from these demons, but the faith of many, especially the hermit, is tested in contemplating whether his vow is now holding him back from saving the lives of others and being a true follower of God in an unprecedented situation. I would love to see this film as it keeps the idea of the first A Quiet Place movie with how a life of silence can actually be an asset against the aliens. The only difference is... This story would show the personal struggle of faith against these aliens and bring us to a setting in a new country with France with unique sites to have these beasts tackle like Mont Saint-Michel and the abbey where the monks live. I can already imagine the shot panned out seeing the aliens storm into Mont Saint-Michel that would be crazy to see. It would just be a very unique story in this world with a unique setting and a group of characters while still following the premise of the previous films with silence versus the aliens. Switching up that theme, we have the second film, A Quiet Place, The Blinded Fire. Here are still, instead, we see a protagonist who can only communicate through sound and is blind to face off against the aliens as we see fire fight fire. So by having this person that's going to be blind rather than in the past where the character is deaf and mute, we will see somebody that has the same strengths and weaknesses as the death angels and can they evade them differently from everybody else? This movie will answer that question. Now for this story, I don't know where, I don't know when, all I know is who. So this is a story that would still have a lot more to be developed for it. I love this story though because it will be very different from the films of the past. Is silence the only way to evade these creatures? This movie will explore that. There's only so many times you can do the same thing in this world. So seeing a new way of facing these beasts could bring a lot of fun to explore. For the last film, we have A Quiet Place, Silence is a Notion. Here I know more about the setting and less about the people. But it will be a story during and after the events of day one as we see a cruise travel to its next port as news of the aliens arrive on Earth. The cruise is a lot of fun for the main family we follow until news arrives to the cruise of what's happening back on land. The cruise tries to stay at sea for as long as possible to evade the aliens but eventually has to come ashore to refuel and to get food. By the time this happens, the captain has nobody he can reach in his radio in any of the ports, so they need to land and hope for the best. When they arrive, they'll be found by one of the aliens who will enter the ship as it goes back to the ocean. Now, with the resources and amenities on the ship, this family and others will have to survive and find a way to take out the alien and take back control of the cruise ship before it crashes headfirst into land. A cruise ship horror film has been something many have been asking for with the Final Destination franchise, and it doesn't look like we're getting that anytime soon, so this film will fill that gap in the industry. Playing with the darkness of the ocean in this film will also be a lot of fun to play with, with the fears of many. Playing with the darkness of the ocean in this film will also be a lot of fun to play into the fears of many. It'll feel like a different story where the aliens aren't the only antagonists as our protagonists are fighting against time itself. So, with the three films, A Quiet Place Silence is an Ocean, A Quiet Place The Blinded Fire, and A Quiet Place The Bow, we have my three ideas 
for a Quiet Place spinoff. So let me know what you think of all these ideas for the spinoffs. I have another video on five spinoff ideas for Cocaine Bear if you're interested in checking that out. But for now, thanks for watching. Please let me know your thoughts down below on the spinoff ideas I gave and some ideas you guys have. Please like and subscribe and see you all next time on Big Flick Energy.